Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I wanna to talk about the abandoned cart versus the abandoned checkout flow within Klaviyo. If you currently have the abandoned cart automation set up in your Klaviyo account, it's likely that you actually have the abandoned checkout set up. So here is the main difference between abandoned checkout and abandoned cart. Klaviyo has made it a little bit confusing because their template to set up the abandoned cart actually sets up the abandoned checkout. The abandoned checkout trigger looks like this, where you will see that it says checkout started. In order to actually send a real abandoned cart, like someone just added the product to their cart, but they didn't get to check out or fill out any additional information, you have to actually install a little snippet of code, similarly to what you may have done for browse abandonment, onto your website to make sure that you have that proper, real abandoned cart set up. So the abandoned cart trigger is going to be someone has added to cart versus the checkout started. And so if you'd like, if you'd like to set this up, the step-by-step -step guide is linked below on how to add the snippet of code to your website. If you're having trouble determining which template you have within your Shopify store, because it is different template 2.0 versus prior templates, go ahead and email Klaviyo support. They are super helpful in getting this code properly put into your template. In terms of the content differentiation between a abandoned checkout and an abandoned cart email, here's what that should look like. Okay, so someone abandoned checkout. They got all the way to the checkout page, they filled out their information, they're ready to click buy, but they just didn't quite do it. Their purchase intent is very, very high. So ideally, you wanna get that person sent directly back to their checkout um, so they can just complete any information that they have yet to fill out and hit buy. The language in this abandoned checkout is gonna be things like, you're so close to owning, just a few steps away from receiving, things like that that actually get them excited about owning your product. With the abandoned cart email, people have added things to their cart and maybe they're still browsing. So you have a good opportunity to increase your AOV by bringing them back to the product page where they can keep browsing, keep looking, and simply just direct them back to your website. So there you can kind of say keep shopping or a really, really good option here is a plain text email asking how you can help them find what they're looking for or if they couldn't find something they were looking for. Try to get them to respond and see if you can do a little bit of personal shopping support. You're also gonna to wanna to pay attention to how these two flows get filtered against one another. You wanna make sure that two people aren't receiving both of these flows if they've added to cart and started checkout. You want them to get the started checkout email and not the abandoned cart and started checkout email. So this is what that flow filter should look like. Hopefully this is helpful and you go ahead and turn on that abandoned cart email and update your abandoned checkout email. You are going to recover so many carts by doing this and increase your revenue. I can't wait for you to turn this on and let me know how it goes. Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you're gonna go and implement this on your store right away. Leave a comment below with any content ideas you have for these flows and I am more than happy to provide feedback. Thanks so much for tuning in. Subscribe and come back for more Klaviyo tips, tricks, and updates.